These scenes always get attention, but something big is going on. It was enough to close Spanish Forks Main Street early Saturday morning and direct people to where they had to go. We're heading right down those stairs. But instead of being something to worry about, Hello, hello, welcome in. Everyone who showed up at the Spanish Fork Library <laughs> was excited. What are you going to miss about the old library? You see, the old library permanently closed yesterday. And today, help was needed to move all the books to the new library. That's a lot of books. <laughs> which is why Main Street was closed. This is very cool that they're doing this. The new library is right across the street from the old one. That's cool. And the Reagan family wanted to be a part of the big line of people moving those books. You won't ever get to do this again. For them, it's a way to give back. We homeschool, and so the library is a huge resource for us. We get to come and check out books for fun, but we also get to come and check out books that we use for school. The library workers. Thank you for coming and helping us today. Love the help. You're so cute. In fact, so many people volunteered, Robin Brierley and other library workers had to change job assignments to get books on shelves as quickly as possible. I was standing there playing Vanna White. <laughs> and then we're like, um, this is really backed up here. We got to do something else. So, yeah. Kids can look up who Vanna White is when the new library opens. But it also shows those who live here love their library. And it was nice to be a part of history where so much history is already kept. They'll remember, yeah. They're all old enough, they'll remember it and remember the time that they walked books across Main Street. The official grand opening of this new library is on April 29th. There will be a ribbon cutting and a grand opening ceremony. A lot of people who are here today say they will be back for that simply because after everything they did in carrying books across the street, they say they feel a special connection to this building. In Spanish Fork, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.